Good morning, it is cruise day. We are here on the Celebrity Silhouette. It's a four night going to Key West in NASA. We've been on Silhouette one time before, but it was uh, 2019, 18? Yeah, about four years ago, and the ship's been updated since then. It is a beautiful day here in Miami. It is. In this video, we're gonna show you everything that we do, all our activities, every food, every drink, all our adventures here on the ship. Our first stop after going to the mustard station was going to the craft beer bar. We got ourselves some imported beer. Expensive beer. This is like seventeen dollars a bottle. Yeah, mine's uh, mine's fourteen. Thank goodness for the beverage plan. <laughs> yes, uh, we have the highest beverage plan. It covers seventeen dollars or lower. And one thing that we love about Celebrity is that you are allowed to put your bags down when you first arrive. Therefore, we're heading to the room. We are sailing out of Miami. I do love the Miami port. It I don't is. like a four hour drive to get here. No, the city is beautiful. You get beautiful views of the beaches and look at these yachts, especially this first one here. It's massive. After dropping off our bags, we went to the buffet and it is a really nice buffet. We got so many options. fried chicken, I got roast beef, fries, I got mushroom goulash, steak, and a quesadilla. You went with kind of the same, but you got a taco, make your own taco. Yeah, with beef fajitas. Um, something I would never order, but I'm on a cruise ship, so why not? There's a Beyond Meat, like meatloaf kind of thing. And then there's also some Asian pork. And you also got regular meatloaf as well. Yep. The dessert looked really, really good. There was a whole donut station with like six or seven different types of donuts. Uh, this here is a raspberry pie. Looks that more like a, good. Yeah. And then like my favorite all-time dessert was Boston cream pie. And they had that as well. He went to get the desserts. The donut tasted like it was just made. Very fluffy. I highly recommend the donuts. We made our way to one of our favorite bars on the ship, the Martini Bar, and they changed the menu. Uh, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. I think overall it's a pretty good change. I'm not sure if they got less martinis. You think it's about the same? Yeah, there's about 22 martinis on the menu, which is a lot. There is a lot. And this must be a very recent change, because like on the app before our cruise, it was still the, the menu it's been for years. Getting on board, it's now this new menu, which I'm excited for new drinks. Yes, I got the coconut cream teeny. We're located right here. It is delicious. And you... Got the apple cider, which is very easy to drink. one of the new martinis called Lavender Lemon Drop. I'm not a huge fan of this one. But my new one, the Snowflake, which is like a white chocolate martini, is amazing. I mean, white chocolate martinis sound really amazing. party at three o'clock on the time guide on the time guide all aboard is 3 30 and we don't sail away until four and there's no actual party here no they're just playing uh the line dancing music that one lady seems to be enjoying it yes she does there's a couple other people on the side star not sailing away yet we still get the gorgeous view of miami however you're shocked with the liquor selection. Yeah, the liquor selection on the ship is really good. Uh, we are drinking the tequila of the greatest professional wrestler of all time, The Rock, the Terramana tequila in a margarita form, and it's wonderful. I don't think I've ever seen that uh, tequila no. on a ship before. Uh, we had a couple bottles in the house before, but not here. Sitting by the pool, listening to the band. We are finally sailing away. Goodbye, Miami. This is one of the reasons why I love this port. You get really gorgeous views of the city. On the other side, you have the mansions. And 
You get a sail by. They're having their sail away party. Other ships, yeah. You have the Disney Dream here having the sail away party. We love the Disney Dream. Yeah. We are also passing the Symphony of the Seas, which is one of the biggest cruise ships on the sea. We've never been on this one. It's always interesting. That's part of the reason why I love Miami Sail Away. You sail away from so many ships. There's a lot of ships usually in port, especially if you're sailing on a Saturday or Sunday. We are sailing on a Thursday, but it's very interesting to look at the other ships and seeing, man, that is a big ship. Like how giant that ship is and how many people on the top deck. It's pretty fabulous. Maybe one day we'll go on that ship as it's about to go to the front. And we move to the other side with South Beach. Now we are at the World Class Bar. I am drinking a Celebrity Number 10. You are drinking an apple pie. The menu did change. Now I do have to say, if you do not have the premium package, a lot of these drinks are not covered. However, I believe you can purchase them and you pay the difference. I'm not 100% sure, but mine's uh, really fun. Before dinner, we grabbed some drinks in the In Symbol Bar. I got the Elderflower, and what did you get? A uh, Corral, which is like sparkling wine with some, uh, some Chambord in there. And they also have the duet playing currently. It is dinner time. We decided to eat in the buffet. We went to the main dining room. It was around seven o'clock. They estimated about a 40 minute wait. And when we were on our last ship, Holland America, it probably took two and a half hours or so to eat on the first night around that time. So we decided to opt in to the buffet. I got uh, mashed potatoes, uh, uh, garlic bread, potatoes, we got pizza, chicken. You got made to order pasta. Yeah, I got four different meats and white sauce. And then you also got- a Piece of roast beef. Roast beef. For dessert, they had the Boston cream like they had at the Welcome and Board Foot. We had chocolate cake and a brownie with nuts. Yeah, it's definitely like the CeCe's pizza brownies except they ruined them with nuts. In the shops, they do have liquor tasting. They have a game show called Relay, where they have five strangers versus five strangers, and they have to do a certain activity. This one is uh, building a cup stack and then breaking it down, and it is time. In the Sky Lounge, they have 80s music trivia. So far, we're not doing very well. We are now in the theater watching Women in Rock show. I don't think we've seen this one before. Something I don't think I've ever seen on a cruise ship before. This is a nightclub. They start playing at 10 o'clock. It's currently 9.59. And uh, there's definitely no drinks at this bar. They are not opening they, that. They did say millennium music, which is accurate. But yes, like, no, this is this is classified as that. But no bar and no DJ. No, it's odd. It's very odd for a nightclub. Since the nightclub was kind of a dud, we went to the movie theater to watch a really classical, great movie, Cool Runnings. But we're the only ones in here. Great air conditioning. Yeah. Probably because we're the only ones in here. Seats are really comfy. And this is a really good movie. My lucky egg. 
I think we found all the people in the Sky Lounge at the ABBA dance party. Yes, and uh, Twitter, you made me go to the ABBA museum that time, so I still don't like you. We are in Key West and it is breakfast. They have a really nice buffet. They have English breakfast, American breakfast, eggs and more. A lot of different options. I went with a banana pancake, a cheese omelet, bacon, and a hash brown. The mile marker zero did not give it away. We decided to get it off the ship here at Key West and we're at the Green Parrot. It's a bar that opened in 1890. We're drinking one of their original beers made for them. And one thing that I love, look at E.T. in the bike. One of the most famous sites here in Key West is the southernmost point. And guys, you had to wait a very long line if you want a picture in front with the words. Now we went on the other side and took a picture. It would do. But uh, just be forewarned, if you do come to Key West on your cruise, you might be standing in line for a while. Also, something that we've never done before is come out to the southernmost pier. Now the beaches here are at Key West not that great but you do get gorgeous views of the ocean just be careful because water does spray up onto the pier we are currently in one of your favorite bars here at Key West it is the rum bar we are drinking some kind of desserty type delicious. drinks delicious yes but look at how many rums they have it's amazing I can't remember the last time we ate food off the cruise ship. It was Key West last year. Oh, look at that. We have a trend here. It is happy hour. We got a dollar wings. So we got six wings. We also are drinking some beers. I'm drinking key lime for my three daughters. And they have a guitar guy. Key West is known to have chickens everywhere, including this family of chickens. Look at the baby chickens. They are fluffy. Currently at a place I've never been before, the Waterfront Brewery having a flight of beer. Well, three dollars later, and you won. When is mine? Back on the ship, we headed straight to the martini bar. You got a banana fosters. I got an apple toffee. Really good dessert type martinis. And now on to activities for the evening. Also look at someone's artwork that they did here at the ice bar. Very detailed. Today we made it to the main dining room. We got bread to start off with, with three dips. That's what I love about Celebrity. They have come with three different dips and they change the dips per day. And we got a window seat. For the appetizers, I got the chilled pear and honey soup. And you also went with soup which was the yellow corn soup. For the main course, I went with the lamb and you went with the beef tornadoes. 
That sauce looks good. Dessert time. I went with the warm apple crumble. And you went with the phyllo dough tar a tulip? Yep. A lot of fruit. Ending dinner with chocolate martinis. Tonight's show in the main theater is Cosmopolitan. Up next is a game show called Majority Rules, and we are team number seven. Up next is Movie Tria. We did okay at Majority Rules. We got five out of ten rounds. Winning team got seven, so that wasn't bad. So tonight they have Silent Disco, which is a really, really fun event. If you've never been to Silent Disco, what happens is that everyone has earphones on. There's three different channels. There's a blue channel, a green channel, and a red channel. And you might be listening to a different song than your neighbor. And I highly recommend taking off your earphones once in a while and just listening to the crowd. I've never seen a silent disco on the pool deck though. I'm wondering how many people uh, fall in sometimes. But I really like silent discos. The party went from the pool deck to the sky lounge. After the nightclub, we decided to get some pizza, or late night snacks, I should say. With the late night snacks, it was pizza, cheese, bread, ham, and some desserts. Something I've never seen before on a cruise ship. Now, we have sailed on a ship before when it's daylight saving time, where we have to adjust our clocks, and usually that is Sunday, like everywhere else. However, on this cruise ship, they are having you set your clocks uh, forward one hour on a Saturday. And that's going to mess everything up as uh, my phone will not <laughs> update until Sunday probably. Oh well, we'll see. But something to keep in mind if you are sailing a celebrity during daylight savings time. We are playing Extreme Bago, where we are tasked <laughs> with throwing them now. from the fourth He's... floor. Oh, oh there, two there's two points. Okay. If you make it past oh, round one, you shoot from spot. deck oh. five. Oh. Very, good. Not very, now. very different up here. Okay. By the pool deck, they have a ring toss competition. Whoever get, wins, wins a bottle of champagne. It is very hard, not a single person has got one on the ring. I forgot to mention, today is day three of a four night cruise, and of course, it is a day at sea. Therefore, there's a lot of activities going on around the ship. They did, like we said yesterday, jump ahead an hour early a day early so my phone currently says it is 10 45 but it's really 11 45 which is really really confusing me having a drink at the sunset bar on the back of the ship i'm drinking a sangria and you get these wonderful wonderful views and somebody now, enjoyed an apple. Yeah, this is a... Carlito a, has been here. <laughs> There's an apple here. A uh, half-eaten apple. This is one of my favorite seats on the entire ship. Also, it's really, really calm today, and I am way hungover. We are currently debating in the Unloop group chat whether or not to buy a roller coaster on Alibaba for $800. We both started out with the appetizer of mozzarella sticks. They did say oh. sticks. <laughs> There's two. For the main course, I went with a barbecue pork knuckle sandwich, or panini, with cheese. And you went with a steak? Yeah. In 
then for dessert, you got the apple strudel. Getting a drink at the craft social. I went with the dogfish head 90 minute IPA, which is really good. That's a good beer. We went to the casino, gambled about $40, left with 30. No, no, we gambled 20, we left with 30. We were up 10. Yes, but the other day. Yeah, the other day we lost 20 bucks. Correct. So we are down 10. And now we are in the room watching Rakonda forever. They have uh, uh, like 20 or so on-demand movies that are free. It's really nice. And it's pretty new movies too. They also have live TV. And they have a kids channel and a family channel. Molly, I don't want to watch Rockets. No, let's flip the channel. Oh, look. Of regrets. Yep. They all have very old school stuff. They had Clarissa Explains It All or on earlier. By the pool deck, they have Music Bingo. We did something that I don't remember ever doing before. We left our card at the bar because someone was too distracted for buying a, a roller coaster. At the martini bar, they're doing a martini tasting, and one of the ones that they are tasting is a raspberry lemonade. So we ask for one of those. <laughs> Grabbed a raspberry cheesecake from the cafe, and you are eating a chocolate tart. We are playing trivia. It's 80s music. I thought the Times Guide was wrong since there was 80s music on day one. Nope. We're doing 80s music trivia again. Hopefully different songs. The trivias do get very, very crowded. We had to share a table, so get there early. We just did general trivia. He went to take a nap. I got 12 out of 22 correct, so not bad. Winning team did get 19 though. It is really impressive how talented they are. It is dinner time in the main dining room. I went with the butternut squash soup. One thing that I love about Celebrity is that you get different dips every single day. So this is our first time with the sun-dried tomato dip. And what kind of soup did you get? A pasta fajoule. For the main entree, I went with the lamb. And you went with the turkey parmesan? Yeah. Looks really good. We decided to drink our dessert instead of eat it, and now we are on to the show. It's the headliner, Jesse Hamilton Jr. class bar. I'm drinking a Banana Republic and you are drinking an old-fashioned really good cocktails. Highly recommend if you have the premium package. Inside Celebrity Central tonight they have improv comedy. They had an earlier show about a matinee show, I would say, and now an 18 or older show. On the pool deck, they have the house band playing Underneath the Moon. 
This TV is getting better and better. First, Clarissa explains it all. <laughs> then, the Rugrats on two channels. And now, it's the Ewok cartoon. Interesting choice. Last and final day on board. We are in Nassau. And again, breakfast is so good. I got an Eggs Benedict, a fried eggs, cheese, a pancake, and bacon. Decided to come out to the Sunset Bar for a few. And I'm having the Marmalade Smash. It's a very interesting cocktail. Very, very good. Normally while we're in Nassau, we give you an update of the pier. However, we're on the wrong side. I can't do that. Royal Caribbean did announce though, they are moving off forward with their project. They bought this. Yeah, this skinny piece of land and they're gonna build pools and beaches and bars and restaurants. And have like water taxis for their ships. It's gonna be cool. We are gonna play a game of foosball. It's a really nice foosball game. I stink at this game. I'm gonna lose really poorly. This is how terrible I am at foosball. You got one point. I got one point. Really nice foosball table. It is. I did get better at the end. This morning we had a really relaxing morning walking from the ship, sitting, playing foosball, looking at which ships are in port. And now we're currently drinking here in the atrium lobby. I got the elderflower blush and he got the spice berry smash. Both of these cocktails are really, really nice. The buffet is so good today for lunch. I went with the make, create your own pasta. And then you went with something I've never seen on a cruise ship before. Yeah, they got a Euro station complete with the big, like, spinning meat cooker thing. And you create your own. I'm going to spend some time here in the solarium. Cool. After spending some time in the pool and having a few drinks. Really nice pool. It is. We decided to get a hot dog with onions, bacon, and fries. Today was a really relaxing, kind of lounging day. We spent a long time at the pool. We were on the upper deck just watching other ships and looking at them. We watched weird cartoons. The evil cartoon was back on again. Yeah, it was. And now it is a dinner. I went with the cream of broccoli soup, and then you went with duck. Main entrees, I got the pork loin, and you went with the short ribs. The sun is very bright. That's a negative and positives of sitting next to the window. Ah, dessert time though. I got the apple tart, and you went with one of my favorite desserts, the cheesecake. And with their cheesecakes, you can pick a bunch of different toppings, so you went with chocolate. In the theater, we have our main presentation called Life. We've watched the show before, and it's a really good show. Tonight they have a captain's club event. So if you're a member in Selva on Celebrity before, you get invited. They have free champagne and drinks as well as uh, different hors d'oeuvres walking around. And they also have the guitar guy. They also have a game show called the Whispering Challenge where people are wearing headphones and they have to play telephone. Extra dessert time, we're at the gelato. Now again, if you're a Captain's Club member, you get one scoop complimentary. 
one more time at the Martini Bar. They currently do have a DJ in this area. We are back in Miami. It doesn't feel like seven o'clock because we're not used to the time, time difference there. <laughs> yes. Um, here's another look at breakfast. I made it to breakfast. You did make it for your breakfast for the first time. <laughs> look at that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Our day four, we didn't do that many activities. A lot of activities were repeated, like the silent disco, comedy, things uh, that we have already done. So we took it more relaxing and just enjoyed each other's company. If you have any questions, in the pool, yes. Uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you so much for watching.